Welcome everyone! You are about to embark on a journey through the universe as you indulge in this extraordinary essence of enlightened, empowered, evolved. Let the show begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Greetings everyone, I'm Luke Bryan Smith and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved where we educate, motivate, and liberate you through enlightening dialogues, empowering music, and evolving content. I know everyone's doing well and everything is unfolding perfectly. That's how I see it right here. And I'm just excited. I'm always excited, especially when I get the chance to engage in amazing dialogues with people from around the world. And today is no exception. My next guest, is a certified life coach and shamanic practitioner who guides individuals through a transformative journey of self-exploration, personal development, and spiritual expansion, and a whole lot more. And you'll see what that more entails in a minute. But without further ado, I introduce to you Catalina Jaliano. Did Thank I say it right? So for having me yes yes how are you i'm doing absolutely amazing thank you so much yes yes i want to say that time i i'm a firm believer that time is one of our most precious assets so for you to choose to spend a moment of your time in the history of your timeline here with me on enlightened power evolved i just want to just extend my sincerest gratitude to you thank you very much thank you my absolute pleasure. I love engaging in, in enlightening and philosophical conversations with people like you. So thank you so much again. Absolutely. And you know, we're here to serve, you know, so if our story in any way or what we currently do with our lives can actually uh, empower other people to live their best lives, I am already there. <laughs> so right. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love your energy. and Wow. I can feel it. So Catalina, I, okay. I want to kind of dig backwards. So you're a certified coach and practitioner. You, you help people. I even saw that you are uh, help in with the womb and all that. But before we get to that, there's a, a, a brief touching element here in your bio in which you you talked about how, losing your dad how that you know um helped things transpire um can you give us a little insight on what happened around then absolutely so i'm originally from colombia um and my family and i came to the united states back in 2000 and i was only 17 years old right. um we came for different reasons that would make you know this whole uh uh, focus even longer, but uh, we actually escaped our country because uh, we were being uh, uh, persecuted by the guerrillas or the FARC, which, okay. So we had to leave our country, not because we wanted to, but because uh, I was actually going to get kidnapped. And uh, we came to United States. Luckily, we had our visa. And uh, soon after we came, we actually lived in Massachusetts. My father had some relatives there. And then I moved to California um, a little after, you know, and when I came to, when, when I went, when I moved to California, my family followed me. And a few months later, my father started having like, you know, some uh, sim symptoms, you know, and um, he soon died from stomach cancer. Mm -hmm. So, um, we come from a very loving family. My mom and my dad, they were sweethearts for like 21 years. Beautiful, wow. beautiful uh, relationship in, in, in home that we had. So for me, I'm the oldest one of four kids. And this experience, there was something very mystical that happened. I feel like we all, uh, every time that we go through very difficult uh, life experiences, we we go through like a natural shift on different aspects. Yes. And um, I feel like for me, it was the catalyst to my, to the work that I do today. So 
to see my father was the most painful uh, experience within this lifetime. However, was the biggest gift because through this experience, uh, he he woke me up to the to the gifts that I had within me. You know, when you experience uh, death so closely, right. um, there is a lot of messages get, that get transmitted and he was able to communicate all of these things with me, which opened a space for me to become extremely um, passionate about the afterlife and mysticism and all of these things. So he was the one, he was the igniter uh, of this transformation and then from there, it was just a journey of self-exploration. You know, um, I started reading uh, Journey of Souls by Michael uh, Newton. And then that opened up, you know, a whole new realm of, you know, um, hypnosis and um, meditation. And then one thing led me to another and I learned um, tapping or EFT. Um, yes, yes. I'm familiar. I, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And then, you know, I, I went through different uh, routes trying to learn about myself and trying to heal this deep, this deep longing of wanting more. You know, um, after I lost my dad, I I I I feel like I didn't really dealt with um, losing him. You know, and on the subconscious level, or the subconscious mind doesn't understand when someone actually passes away or when there is abandonment. You know, the subconscious mind only understands what it feels, right? So, so what, what the body feels. So I, I wanted to, to, to find different ways to first, you know, help me heal my own experience and then also um, integrate different ways to, to expand my consciousness. So uh, one thing led to another and then I discover uh, plant medicine back in 2012. And that for me was, Again, uh, another layer to deeper and deeper transformation and, and self-discovery and uh, working to, you know, with, with these visionary plants and these master plants and this ancient medicine allowed me to not only heal myself, but discover or remembering my, my gifts, my shamanic gifts. Right. I feel like we all have medicine. We are the medicine to the world and we just have to learn to, to connect with, you know, with that medicine. And I feel like our challenges become our, our most big assets, you know, right. if we learn how to transmute that energy. Right. Right. I, I totally resonate and agree with that. That, that is amazing. So let's, let's talk about your, your, your coaching. What led you to want to, coach other people and what type of tell, tell us a, a little bit of give us a little framework around the type of coaching you do absolutely so um more than coaching i like to refer to uh the art of guiding people it's it's honestly uh, uh an art uh right. of allowing them or giving them the space for them to fully reconnect with their divine gnosis with their divine um wisdom right? right so i have been doing this all my life i'm just getting paid for it now <laughs> yeah uh, but yeah i mean i love absolutely people i absolutely love humanity and i um i don't see people as people i see people as their divine expression of mother earth wow. so when when i get the honor to serve and to help other people transform into their most amaz amazing version. For me, there is nothing else in this life or I, I don't get more satisfaction than that. So um, again, you know, going back in time, like I've always had this natural way of connecting with people. And every time that I uh, develop and maintain relationships people always tell me Kata there is something about your energy that it, it feels like I've known you my entire life I feel so secure when I'm around you you know it's so easy to talk to you right 
And, you know, frequency is frequency. We are vibrating beings, right? So um, the way that we make others feel, you know, that's what stays with them, right? So yes. this is something that I heard it so much that I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to do something with this gift. <laughs> that's right. You know, that that's why I, I got uh, certified, right? But I like to call myself more as a transformational coach. I love exploring the uh the the self the 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 subconscious mind right and right and go deep within so that we can fully heal ourselves so yes. my motto is heal transform and transcend before we go through any transformation we have to heal ourselves right right okay. yes that's amazing heal transform transform transcend. and ascend transcend transcend there you go <laughs> that's amazing that yeah. is absolutely amazing yes so yes and you're also into reiki and like you said tapping and what is this this vipassana meditation what is that oh vipassana meditation so uh vipassana is um it's a kind of meditation that allows you to observe everything that happens within your body without attaching to it, without making any idea or anything. So right. when I study uh, Vipassana, it, it was uh, definitely a, a step towards, you know, all this discovery because it really teaches you to be within your body. So right. one of the things that I really... Uh, encourage and emphasize my clients is that in order for us to heal trauma we have to connect with our bodies we yes. have to reconnect with our mother earth we have to reconnect and, and and really remember that we come from this energetic umbilical cord hmm. that we have lost connection you know through centuries because of many things these these right. society and the cultural you know Right. Things, right but it's coming back to to allow your body to feel without shame you know fully engaging and and allowing your body to do what it needs to do on like naturally because there is wisdom in the way that the body moves right mm. without mm. letting your mind get in in the way because the mind mm. is always going to reframe things and make you believe things that they're not there right 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 Vipassana yeah. is that it teaches you to fully be present without any attachment. If observe. So, I'm sorry? Observe. Yes. Fully uh, observing and fully yes. equanimity. Yes, yes, um, yes. You know, not making assumptions or adjusting to like, or like labeling um, experiences, you know, yes. a, a experience is just an experience. It's there yes. to serve a purpose rather than the mind telling you, oh, this doesn't feel comfortable. So it's probably negative. And if it's a good, some, you know, a good feeling, then it's like, oh, I want more of that. Right. right. But no, we have to detach from all of it and be fully right. present. Yes. So yes. That That's amazing. Yes. And that's <clears throat> what I'm, Every day working towards observing more, non-attachment, not labeling something as good or bad. And the more I expand and become more aware and elevate myself, I am realizing that there's, you know, no net positive or, or negative. I mean, we, we can feel that, but it just simply is. And it's whatever you attach to it, that's what it's going to be. Because what what could be positive for me could be negative for you. I mean, you know, I mean, of course we feel, like you said, energy. So, you know, if you, you're feeling something good or something not quite right, that's not in harmony with yourself. So that is amazing. I like that, that non-judgmental state. And that's what that particular meditation helps you to get into just that yeah, neutral also, uh, yes sorry it's also a way of living it's like living intentionally right, right. Being fully right. Present for yourself mm -hmm. 
that you can understand what your body is trying to tell you every time. You know, right. if you if people want to learn to have a better intuition, they're gonna right. have to really tap into the body, right? Right. right. And, um, and then also it's everything is about perception. And so perception. the mind also yes. gets I feel like our most prominent uh organ is our heart. And if we uh, learn to live in accordance with our heart, the world will be a different one, right? But we have the mind in the mm. rush at some moment in time throughout human uh, development. We didn't have rational. Uh, we, that, that, that rational mind wasn't as prevalent as it is now. Right. And so it was easier for us to connect with divine gnosis with, you know, with, all these different uh, energetic entities and, you know, you know, through shamanism, you know, you learn all of that. But when the rational mind comes in, it, first of all, it makes your vibration denser and it, it, um, it gives you a different lens to perceive life. Right. Right. Perceive life based on the persona rather than from your natural essence. Then our natural essence is, is the expression of our divine father mother which is perfection in our own imperfection because we are imperfect human beings right but there is beauty and perfection in all of that and and if we learn to to see beauty everywhere because everything that we come in contact with is divine in creation then you know we can start living our lives in that vibration you know in in that sense of gratitude and in understanding that we live in a benevolent universe right. loving universe and that everything that comes your way is there to always support you you know divine spirit is never wanting to to make things more difficult we are the ones that complicate things by allowing the mind get in the way so right. the way that i like to you know to to say it is that I like my ego to be on the passenger seat, oh, right? I like that. I like that. Still serving a purpose because we cannot simply eradicate it, you know? Mm. It yes, because it does serve a purpose, but yes. Of course, of course. So, but we need him a little more, you know, loving or yeah. more. Yeah. yeah a more Shrink quiet. it down a little bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Absolutely amazing. And that that's been incorporated into some of my my uh my affirmations is to to silence my you know my ego you know uh or or to you know mute it a little bit you know so yes i'm very aware of that and that's amazing you talked about um you you referred to like the heart and how powerful that is there's a man that i listen to by the name of greg braden who talks a lot about the heart space healing and all that and the energy that comes from the heart and all that and Yes. And also what another thing that stood out to me is how you talked about, you know, before and, and how we're remembering who we are now, but before we didn't have so much um, clutter and indoctrination and, and exactly. things in our head. And we were able to uh, connect with spirit, with the universe, with the earth better more. And here is a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a prime um, evidence of that is look at like the pyramids that are in different countries of people that didn't even meet each other, but yet they built these like structures. Something was happening that they were connecting to, to cause them to build those in the similar manner and the geographical locations that they did without any modern technology. And they were able to do that. So that's why, you know, even in modern times, people can't figure out how they did it. Well, they were connected to, you know, something very divine. That's how they did it, you know. And we're always being guided. I mean, there there have right. always been other beings um, right. outside Earth supporting our growth, right? right? But again, the rational mind gets in the way and then it's like, what? Like, how is right. that even possible? Or, you know, facts and all of that. And so, you know, when the mind gets in the way, it you're not able to fantasize, to imagine. And then right. without imagination, we lose the power of creation. 
we create every time or magnetize or ma uh, or manifest every time that we fully connect with visualization and a feeling. So going back to the heart, right? That's where the yes, yes. I, I apologize, but yes, you just struck a chord. Yeah. It's yes. I mean, feeling. Feeling. That's, that's very important feeling. Go, go ahead, Catalina. I mean, look at our kids. The yes. you know, kids are so connected with themselves and their bodies. And if something you know bothers them, they say it without you know any focus. That's yeah. great. But then we get programmed and indoctrinated, and they are like parents, you know, our parents or the elders, depending on the culture, you know, where you, we come from. Right. Don't speak like that. You're too loud. You're too much. Right. You're restrictions. Too... A lot of restrictions. No, a lot of, a lot of limitations. That. Yes. I'm just me, right? Can you just let me be me? And when <laughs> we fully, you know, reclaim, because that, that's something else that we have to do. We have to in in this self developing or self exploring process. It's like okay, I'm reclaiming my essence. I'm reclaiming who I am rather than, than following the status quo and feeling more comfortable and making everyone else feel comfortable going against my own integrity. No, it's about, okay, stepping, stepping in righteousness, stepping into our sovereignty, stepping into what feels right to us. And then from that space, you know, kind of everything kind of falls naturally, you know, into place because when we are fully our unique raw selves, we attract everything that, that is in harmony with that, right? And then everything that is not, I lovingly accept it. <laughs> and yeah, lovingly accept it and just allow it to, to flow, allow it to pass. And that's, that's a, an amazing uh, way to be. And yes, like I said uh, before, I'm, I diligently work on being in that space every day. And I need adjustments uh, to be transparent, but just to know that now I'm aware that that's what harmony and balance is. Now that I'm aware and I've shined a light on that, then it's a lot easier to get back into that space when I find myself not being in that space and to remind myself to observe and to not attach myself to every thought, to every emotion, to everything that happens, not to attach and not to have to, you know, judge or allow my ego to come into play on everything, you know? So yes, that, and that is amazing. You touched something very, very powerful that is awareness, you know, that, right. you know, this is like a cultivation. This is something that we have to do every day. This is not something that it's going to, you know, uh, disappear completely from our lives and right. it's you know devotion you know to ourselves and our work and in our mission you know to to really uh connect with that awareness and and, and continue co-creating our reality with divine spirit right because it's not just us we are i feel like we are a vessel mm -hmm. uh to receive transmission and we are channels you know to receive healing like when 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 I call myself a healer, uh, it's not me the one healing. It's right. really divine spirit working through you. Yes, yes. yes. So there is no like attachments to that, or uh, on the contrary, you know, it's it's an honor for me to be able to serve um, with love and 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 willingness and that you know, devotion, always, you know, there, the devotion and reverence, reverence, reverence to life and reverence to the plants, to the spirits of the plants. Right. And um, that's something that, you know, that I, that I'm very strong about is that uh, our mother has provided us with all these medicines, you know, through our existence, you know, for us to, to, to commune with you know, to right. be in a sacred space and, and, and acknowledge the spirit of the plants and acknowledge the, their guidance because mm -hmm. these they're the teachers, you know, of the land. Right. And then when we get in contact with these with these visionary master plants um, and when there is a pure heart and intention, we are always guided, always, 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 absolutely and forever. So... That's part of my coaching as well. You know, I feel like when we 
work with these uh, ancient medicines, we're able to to put the, the ego on that passenger seat and allow our spirit to fully see the entire spectrum of our lives. Mm. Okay. Because, um, when we experience life, we experience life through the lenses of the ego and the mind, which is natural, right? And when we go through a traumatic event, that um, energetic code gets gets instill in the body mm. okay? okay and every time that we have a memory or every time that we think about this experience we are reactivating that pain if we haven't processed it right so what these medicines do is that they allow you to to reevaluate or to to see again this memory from a completely different perspective which is from love and from the heart rather than from the mind right? Wow. And when you see this experience and everything that had to happen in order for you to be in that moment, because again, everything is a synchronistic dance in this life, right? Exactly. exactly. So everything, there were so many things that had to happen in order for you to be there in that moment and to learn that lesson and for it, whatever that it was, right? When you are able to see that your brain gets rewired around the memory. So mm. the, the brain rewires itself and then the vibration changes in your body. So you won't remember that, that traumatic event in a way that was painful anymore. Now it's more insightful. And mm. once you come back from your journey, bringing all these guidance and all these teachings from this beautiful ancestral medicine, then you're able to integrate all this wisdom into your life and really do the transformational work that we all need to do in order for us to, to change our patterns and to change our, you know, old conditioning and beliefs because most of our struggles come from root, like deep rooted, right. stock, all beliefs that they are not Trauma. even. Trauma. Yes. All kinds of things. Yes. You're, you're, uh, that's, that's absolutely amazing. And from what I'm gathering from what you're saying, it's just getting back into alignment with ourselves, you know, Correct. Correct. Yes. yes. With our higher selves, with, with source, with universe, with our spirit. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, um, also I want to, if, to know if you could elaborate a bit on Currently, she is being called to bring awareness to womb wisdom and healing. Elaborate on that a little bit. Absolutely. So ever since I um, started working with um, uh, plant medicine, right? Um, I felt that deep call by, by Mother Earth. It's like, you know, I feel like she's reclaiming her kids, right? Okay. And then this consciousness uh, becomes very strong and, and I became devoted to help the feminine. Uh, not because I don't see the value of the of the of the masculine. On the contrary, I feel like more than ever we need a strong masculine leaders to empower us, right? But it was more from a sense that women needed to to remember their own power rather right. than settling for whatever it, it was right? right so um and i've always you know been that way but this in the beginning of this year um i felt a very deep calling uh to expand into uh womb wisdom hmm. and so uh uh the ceremonies and the journeys that i offer um, some of them are for womb healing. And when we are able to, to heal our energetic center of creation, then everything else again shifts, right? Okay. Um, so it's for me in, in this moment is really helping women to reattune with their natural rhythms and okay. find the beauty in their menstrual cycle because okay. there is so much shame and so much, you know, right. Yes, you know, around our cycle. Right. Uh, 
when in reality our water or our blood is an elixir of life. It was life that wasn't created. So it's right. still you know, serving that purpose. So that's what I want to teach about mm. to our women about, you know, um, connecting with that womb wisdom and seeing the beauty of every rhythm because we are like mother earth. Like uh, right. we go through cycles through the month. Cycles, rhythms. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. When we, I mean, we are cyclical beings. And if, if, if we learn to take advantage of each of those cycles or each of those seasons, right? Mm -hmm. Then, you know, everything that we do, gets magnetized gets you know flowers you know and, and yeah I, I I I'm deeply passionate about the subject just right. because I I also have a daughter yes and, uh and I feel like it's time you know for us to to be completely open about you know the most natural thing you know right, and, right. and how powerful it is our sexuality mm. and how important it is to uh, encourage our kids nowadays to have a much better understanding of divine sacred union. It's right, not right. Sex is yeah. just the word that humanity or society gave it, but in reality, I feel like it's divine union because every time that we uh, have a connection with another human being, there is um, a possibility to bring right. life. And right. even if and energy is exchanged as well. Exactly, exactly. Right. And even if uh, material life in the form of a, of a human doesn't happen, we are co-creating with that other person. So right. it's extremely important to know who we get, you know, uh, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. uh -huh, and the intention behind that union, right? Right. Um, so I feel like when we understand more about uh, sacred se sexuality, then our kids are not going to fall into, you know, uh, this popularity thing. Right. And, and what what society, what, uh, you know, the current, uh, yeah, trend, the pop yeah. culture uh, indoctrinates and instills, you know, puts a lot of pressure on young people, you know, to, to, to do this because it's cool and to be accepted. But no, you have to let them know that it goes a lot deeper than that. And you have to really take it a lot more serious than just, yeah. So that is amazing that you are bringing awareness to that as well. And yes, I we have something in common. Well, we have a lot in common, but we both have 13-year-old daughters. Yes, I, oh, my, my daughter is oh, my, yeah, my, my daughter's at a dance right now for her school. Yes. So yes, it's amazing. I think she's coming in right now so yeah yes. it's such a beautiful age though oh my right. god so yes you're right it's it's time to to have those 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 talks and to you know because especially if you don't have that talk with them something or someone else will awesome. and they won't say the things that you know you and i would say they're going to put something else on there that that's okay. not probably not healthy so amazing yeah, I mean and again, it's it's all about that programming, right? I mean, it's right. no one else's fault, right? But it is as parents our responsibility right. to right. what's right and then give them the tools, you know, to live a sovereign life. I mean, they're going to be exposed to all kinds of information. But as long as we as parents know that we have provided them, you know, with the right information, then they're going to have to make their own decisions, right? Yes, exactly. And that's what we have to be comfortable with, that they will make their own, you know, make the, their own decisions. And yes, a, a, a decision that's uh, connected with, 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 with their peace and harmony of who they are. Yes. So before we go, we're down to about three minutes. How can people find you? Can you share with us website uh, links or anything while we're here audibly? Yes, my website is soulchinalchemy.com. I'm sure that you can actually put it down, you know. Uh, in, oh, in oh, yes, it's definitely going to be in the description. But just yes. for someone that may be just driving along, listening to this. I know, I just, uh, I'm just saying that because I know that my accent sometimes is a, it's a little too rough. So. Oh, that's okay. So <laughs> it's it's so what? Rough or too strong, you know, so. No, no so the, the website is so... Soul Ching Alchemy. Soul Ching. 
Yeah, like you're like you're coaching the soul, like soul oh, chi. Oh yes, yeah, soul chi. Soul chi. Yes. Soul chi. What? Alchemy. Alchemy. Yes. Soul chi. Alchemy. Dot com. Perfect. All right. Yes, and I think you. I am certain that you shared with me that link, so I have it. You sent yes. it to me. Yes. So that's amazing. And I also have, you know, my social media, um, Instagram and Facebook under Kata Intuitive Healer. Kata Intuitive Healer. Correct. Yes. So thank you very much, Catalina, for sharing with us, for enlightening us, for helping us to evolve a bit more. I feel a bit more evolved after listening and engaging with you. Thank you very much again. I just want to thank you. And thank you, everyone, for, for listening and or watching. Be thank sure. You. Thank you yes, so much for following me. Yes, be sure to look in the description and look up Catalina's links and check out her website. Also check out the Enlightened Power Evolved web website at 333empower.com and also subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe wherever you're listening and, and are watching this and hit the like button. Share it. Help this platform grow. Help get these amazing, enlightening messages out and grow. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. I send you love and appreciation, and I will see you soon. Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved.